to your follow-up lesson on arithmetic sequences. We've really been doing some very juicy, meaty work in this section. And this will be a very short video because we're just going to cover one more concept. So you'll see here I've written more complex examples. So we know that in all our sections of maths we get to our problem solving questions or are more complex procedural questions so this would be one of them um, but I don't think it's too bad so let's work through this first example and you can see what I mean by it's actually we're going to be falling back on some very basic fundamentals that we've learned in the previous video and a question which may seem daunting actually becomes very easy to do so, example one, x, 4x plus 5, 10x minus 5 are the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence. Our question is, determine x and hence find the sequence. So, we're going to find out what is the numerical value for x because then I can actually figure out what exactly is the value of those first three numbers in the first three positions of the pattern. So I know a few of you already are seeing the X's and going, oh my word, Claire, I don't want to do this. This looks awful. This looks terrible. But just watch this, guys. It's actually super easy and straightforward because what do you know about arithmetic sequences? We know that there is a constant difference right a constant first difference that is usually what is shown by the letter d in my formula let's pop the formula down tn equals a plus n minus one times d right so we know that's my constant first difference that's my first term that's the value of a term that's the position of a term X is, uh, now what? So what else, or what other little trick have I told you to use in dire times, guys, when you are stuck and you're not sure what to do? Or if you can't figure out what that first difference is, remember that term two minus term one is equivalent, it's equal to term three minus term two. So, Here's my pattern, term one, term two, term three. All right, let's write that in. Term one, term two, term three. So if I go term two, four X plus five minus term one, which is X, that must be the same as term three 10x minus 5 minus term 2, which is 4x plus 5. And you see what we've created here? We just have a linear equation, right? Where what we can do now is we can simplify the left-hand side and the right-hand side and then solve for x. Didn't I tell you that this was easy? So on the left, 4x minus 1x is 3x plus 5 equals, okay, so I'm just going to do all the steps here. So we could probably solve this quicker and more efficiently, but I want to make sure that we all are on the same page. So I'm hoping you realize why I use brackets. When I said term 3 minus term 2, I use brackets because there are two separate terms contained within term 2, hey? And both of the terms are positive, but I know that the negative is going to change those signs, all right? So when you are using this method, please use brackets. Do you see how I even use the bracket here on the left-hand side? which is not necessary since term one is only a singular term, but it's more like, I just don't want to forget about using those brackets. Okay, so don't forget that. Otherwise, you're going to get the incorrect answer in the end, and that's always frustrating. Okay, so we just got to finish off and solve for x. So I'm going to put, we'll collect the x's on the left-hand side. So negative 3x 
3x minus 6x. There's negative 3x is equal to, it's going to be negative 10 minus 5. So that's going to be negative 15. To solve for x now, we need to um, divide both sides by minus 3. So therefore, x is 5. Amazing. Didn't I tell you how basic this was? And you've answered the first part of your question. You found the value of x. All right. So what was important is this, this guy here. Didn't I tell you right in the beginning? We're going to be using this. Even if it doesn't seem like it at the moment, this is going to crop up often. Because in our previous lesson, we could very easily, through inspection, determine what is the constant difference to figure out terms which would come later on to create an nth term. But now when I throw you a curveball like this, and my pattern is not numerical, but contains variables, contains letters, this is when this becomes super useful. Okay, happy? I hope so. Um, we need to follow up though and hence find the sequence. So now we have to find out actually what are these numbers in term 1, term 2, term 3. And all we're going to do is, since I now know that x is 5, wherever I see x in the pattern, I'm simply now going to replace it with 5. Okay, so term 1 is just x, so term 1 will be 5. Term 2 is 4x. So 4 times 5 plus 5, that gives me 25, correct? 4 times 5 is 20, plus 5 is 25. Term 3, so term 3 is 10x minus 5. So 10 times 5 minus 5, well, 10 times 5 is 50, minus 5 is 45. So therefore, our pattern is 5, 25, 45. That looks good, doesn't it? Because look, I can see that there's a constant first difference that I'm adding 20 between consecutive terms. So well done, you. Full marks for this question, right? And like I said, this is meant to be the more complex type of question um, because we don't just give you the numerical values of the term but we throw in those letters but do you actually see how easy and approachable this stuff can be so i do think we need to practice another example first before um we get stuck into um you're going to do a bit of work yourself to see if you're understanding this section right remember if you're still busy and you want to relook at everything just pause the video play it back then you can continue with the rest of the questions. Alrighty, let's get stuck into this one. Example 2, P, 2P plus 1, 5P minus 2 are the first three terms of an arithmetic sequence. Find the value of the first three terms. So this question is worded differently to our first example and I don't then want you to think that this now means we have a new approach. I've asked the same question, just in a different way. So in this question, we still need to figure out what the value of the variable is. In my first example, I used an x. For my second example, I specifically and on purpose chose a different letter, just so that you can see it's not always that it's going to be X's, right? It could be a P, it could be a Q, whatever. So in this example, I chose to use P's. So there's term one, term two, term three, first three terms. Find the value of the first three terms, right? Not, don't just write that down as your answer. <laughs> that would be silly. I'm going to, first of all, fall back on this beautiful little tool of ours. Term two minus term one equals term 3 minus term 2. Alright, so term 2 in this pattern is 2p plus 1. Whoops. Minus term 1 is p. Term 3 is 5p minus 2 minus 
term two is two p plus one. Awesome. What we're gonna do is we're gonna simplify the left-hand side, the right-hand side, and then solve our equation. So p plus one will be equal to five p minus two minus two p minus one. Remember I said we could definitely do this in fewer steps. Um, I'm just showing all the steps so that everybody understands how I'm getting to my answers. Okay, so now I just need to solve for P. So negative 2P. So I like collecting the variables on the left. Doesn't matter. Negative 2P is equal to negative 4. Divide both sides by minus 2 or negative 2. Therefore... P is equal to 2. Hooray! We've solved for P. So, term 1, which is P, would obviously then just be 2. Term 2, which is 2P plus 1. But we've determined that P is equal to 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Term 3... Uh, what was term 3? 5p, so 5 times 2, because p is equal to 2, minus 2, so 10 minus 2 is 8, right? So my pattern's going 2, 5, 8. That looks awesome. Why? Because I can see I've got a constant first difference. I'm adding 3 between my consecutive terms. All right, everyone, thank you very much for watching and I hope you've taken down some lovely, beautiful notes. Remember, if you get stuck on something, rather pause the video, watch the worked example again, try it on your own and then move on. All right, thank you everybody and have a beautiful day.